sorry if the audio is not very good on this one. I don't have any of my stuff because I left it at home because I brought something cool. Um, it's a little bit expensive. I'm a little bit nervous about it because oh, I don't know how to use that thing at all. So it's even more awkward because I don't know. <laughs> you guys can hear any of this. So I don't even know I'm going to use any of this footage. But we're going to mount those. Um, well, actually, I'll start with it's been a silly long day. I finished work at like 6 o'clock in the morning, got home, went to bed. Got up at 10, had to take the work you to work, um, drop it off there. And then uh, we went and picked up this thing on my shoulder, which we'll have a play with later and see how that works. And I'm struggling to think of ideas to make a video for today. So we're going to mount those enclosures together. We've got some brackets. I'm just going to try these four because I don't want to buy too many. They're like a dollar each. It's not expensive, but like... I want to go spending eight bucks for it not to work, and I'll probably find something else to use them on. Um, I completely forgot that the bottom taller enclosure doesn't have uh, any air vents in it. I haven't looked. I've been pretty busy, um, so I might have a quick look around. If not, I will go into the workshop, cut up some steel, uh, maybe get them powder coated black to suit these stands because I don't really want to butcher these ones because if I do end up reselling them they will uh if they look butchered it'll be a, a bit of a shame to ruin something so pretty I mean we could go fancy and get these but like that they, they're pretty sick they're nice and heavy you glue them in they'd be perfectly fine um you just want to put something on the back of that or find a finer one which I'm pretty sure you can find some pretty small gaps. This would be perfect for a, a bigger snake. Um, you can you can always make up this. Like it's not there's no set rule to it. You just wouldn't go putting a uh, tiny snake in an enclosure that you put big vents on. These are just uh, drainage things for like showers and stuff like that. So you could definitely use them, but they are expensive. So I don't think. I'm gonna go with that because I need one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six or eight. Eight or four. Could be four. I hope it's four. That'll be easier. <sighs> I don't think we're gonna find anything today and uh, I'm starting to run out of money. So let's go home. Alright, so we're back at home. Uh, I didn't finish the video yesterday. I got caught up. I caught up with a mate um, at Bunnings and I ended up going out with him. And it was nice to have a little bit of a break after having having such a hectic week and um, and then getting off night shift. I've decided that I'm going to do one uh, just with wood, just to show that you can use almost anything for this, and the other one with angle. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Like I always say, uh, make sure that your screws are not going to go through whatever you are drilling and the side of your enclosure because it doesn't look. Uh, it doesn't look neat at all. Um, so basically all we're going to do is put one here over in this corner and one down here and the idea of that is when you slip the other enclosure over the top it just kind of holds it in place from slipping backwards and forth. Um, obviously it's not a it's not a solid mount so you can't like it's, it doesn't become one piece it's just a guide to help it stay in the position without it sliding off um, connecting enclosures together permanently uh, can be a bit of a pain if you have to move them but it does make it if you accidentally bump one that the other one's not going to slowly uh, move to one side uh, end up hanging over and then you've got to move it all back so it's a little bit less maintenance if you give it sort of a guide a push rail that it can't uh, like a barrier that it can't get past um, and that's all that this is. If you did want to uh, make it permanent, you just drill this side, slip it over the top and drill the other side, but I'm not doing that today. You think I would have learned by now that uh, pilot holes help. Um, 
makes the jobs a little bit easier but no I didn't drill them originally but I'm going to drill them for this one because it's going to make it way easier to do this corner piece. The idea of these guides is that we slide the other one over the top of this uh, because they, they do have these lips. If you don't have these type of enclosures and it's just flat, you can put them on the outside, you can find something a little bit nicer to make it out of and that way it just stops your enclosures from sliding uh, left and right. So we'll chuck this other one on top of this one and see if it slides over okay. So it turns out that I made them too tall and they don't fit under the bottom of the slip. So we're going to have to cut them down and then we'll try and put it on it. So I actually had one of them uh, shatter on me and then I tried cutting it again and it made it a bit too short. So I had to cut another little piece of wood. Of, it's just a scrap bit of wood that I got lying around. So now they're only just, just sitting over. Let's try and put it on and see if this one works. So it definitely works. Um, I only put the two in, so there's one up here and one down there. If you wanted to make it a little bit more stable than this, uh, you could put four in there or you could even put five. You could put a guide rail on the front lip here um, to stop it from going, but I've just got one in that corner and one there. And now when you push it to the side, it'll only go that far. It does twist a bit. You pull it this way, it only goes that far. The only way it can fall off without hitting something is uh, forward because I don't really want to put anything uh, at the front um, and to stop that you could just put like a little bit of wood here and drill it together and that way it'll hold it down but then again that makes it a permanent fixture uh, this is just kind of a guide rail to help it not slide off because um, these aren't that wide. With the bigger ones there, this top one here moves a little bit uh, when you bump it or you move stuff around. Um, but once you've got weight in them, yeah, you can see here how it, just brushing up against it over time kind of just pushes it away. Um, so, uh, you know, you could screw them together or you could just put a little bit of... Uh, flat bar behind it you know just a very thin guide to stop it or i mean you could even just go in here and drill a screw directly down through it and that'll hold it there as well so it all it's it there's really millions of ways you can do this it's just a preference thing here this whole enclosure is one enclosure um it's great and it works but it is huge it is a pain to move uh these ones were originally designed for shops and then the shops sold them out and there's a few of them floating around where I live uh, but yeah they're, they're great but they're too big for moving and they're too big for normal like just little reptile setups these little ones here they slide a lot I think holding them I can move that with my thumb um, but if you just put a little bit of bar in between there or a piece of wood or basically anything and just drill it to both of them it'll stop that problem but I'm not really fussed about those ones at the moment because they're it's not a real big problem they're not stacked as high and they have a greater surface area like if I pulled this enclosure all the way out here uh, it would hang over and it wouldn't slip whereas these ones aren't flat across the top they've got little lips here um, so if it was to slide back and uh, over a little bit it'll sink into this hole and with the movement and whatever of it falling it may pull all three of them over and uh, being right in the doorway I just wanted a little bit of something to help it stay together so it's not a permanent thing and if I was if I was keeping these and I knew all three of these were staying together forever I would probably drill these together uh, but for the sake of I might I probably won't be able to keep these ones forever um, and I'd have to sell them on I wouldn't um, selling things together like that may bring the value down on them but yeah let's do the other one which is going to be with the uh, metal brackets and um, yeah same idea um, these needed to be cut a little bit so I angle grinded them and they're just going up in here to hold this from uh, sliding around. But being as these bracket, uh, being as these brackets are way thinner, use thinner screws so you don't go through the side of your enclosure. 
because it looks messy. Drill your pilot holes and uh, put your screws in. And just repeat the same thing on the other side and then we're gonna go chuck this thing on the top. I actually decided that I would put all four of them on there because originally I brought uh, four of these brackets, two for the top one and two for the bottom one that we just did. But we used the wood there, so I decided that I'd put four up here and see if it is any better to have one on all four corners. So we're gonna try it on the top and we'll see how it goes. Just as I thought, having it on all four corners made it way sturdier. Uh, it doesn't slide back at all because there's the two holding it in. It doesn't slide left, it doesn't tilt at all. So like, I'm pushing quite hard there. So if you wanna, if, well, if you have these Reptile 1 enclosures, um, putting them on all four corners makes that fairly stable. I'm not really looking for stable, but I definitely feel a little bit better now that the uh, top one isn't loose at all because uh, it is small, it is light, uh, easy to bump and it's going to be right here which is what everybody walks past as they come inside uh, and then as we go into the animal room it's the first thing on your right so um, yeah it definitely needed a little bit of help to hold them together. Basically that's it. Um, yeah, you can make all kinds of variations when stacking enclosures. Have a 90 if they don't line up directly on the side. And if you guys want any information on that, I'll happily do a video about uh, doing uneven ones like these ones. Uh, these ones just here, they're all uneven. Um, and if they were your only enclosures and you weren't planning on selling them, you could well and truly bolt them together. Or you could just drill through the top one into the bottom one. There's a million ways you can do it. This is just... Uh, a nice way that I thought on the Reptile one, ones that I um, you won't see anything from the side, you won't see anything from the front, so it, it looks real clean, but yeah. So I'll give you a quick update. The uh, fish are looking way better now. They're doing quite well. They're uh, a lot less shy. And the swelling and the redness of their gills have gone down. I haven't got too much more info on this, but I think it may be working a little bit better by extending the top of that lift. Um, everything else is basically normal. He's doing quite a lot better. He's not sinking um, half as much. The uh, male Rippin Woma python just shed, so um, maybe in a couple of days I might try and feed him again, and then after that I'll try and get him out in the sun and get some photos of him. That'd be pretty cool. All right, guys, that's it for today. Let me know what you want out of this channel. Uh, if you have any requests besides room tours, because I will. Uh, Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys what uh, what I got. I actually got a, um, the surprise was a gimbal, which is pretty sick. It's super big, so it takes my camera, which I'm pretty stoked about. Otherwise, I was gonna get one for my GoPro and try and fix my GoPro up a little bit. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and learn to do some like cinematic shots with that and uh, expand on my knowledge of photography or videography or whatever you'd call videoing things. Once I've figured that one out, I'll try and do a uh, room tour um, and go through what I do and don't have and what I will want. Basically a giant wish list of um, things and probably in that video I'll do what I want to see uh, happen to my collection in the next year. So that should be an interesting video, but um, yeah. All right guys, take it easy, stay awesome and remember you can't fail if you try. See ya.